What is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create SEO optimized content for completely free. So this method allows you to write SEO content without buying any other tool and you can do this for completely free. So let's say for example, we wanted to rank for the keyword, how to become an SEO freelancer. Instead of just popping that into Claude or ChatGPT and expecting it to write you an SEO optimized article, we first need to construct an SEO optimized outline. In order to create your outline for completely free, head over to Google and search up your keyword on Google. And as you can see, you will see some of the top ranked blog posts for that specific article. So we see SEM Rush, we see Upwork, GoDaddy, and so on. So what we want to do is we want to open up some of these top ranked blog posts. And for this method, you need to have Harper AI installed. Harper AI is a completely free to use tool. It is a co-pilot, which allows you to extract data and um, content from specific websites. So what we want to do now is once we have Harpa enabled and we're on some of those top ranked blog posts, we just need to ask Harpa to extract the main headlines and outlines from this article. So make sure you click on these icons at the bottom here because this allows the AI to read that website. For the prompt, I told the AI to extract the main outlines from this article. And as you can see, we were able to extract the outlines pretty easily. So let's go ahead and copy this over. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to generate the outline from Claude first, and then we're going to combine the outline from Claude with the outlines that we just generated. So let's go ahead and copy over the main keyword, which is how to become an SEO freelancer. And we're gonna run this in Claude. And again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let Claude create the outline, and then we're gonna combine that with the outlines that we extract from the top ranked blog post. So now what I've done is I've told the AI to combine the outline that they just generated with the outlines below for one comprehensive outline. So let's go ahead and run this and then we're going to extract another outline from a top ranked blog post. So let's go ahead and do the same thing from Upwork. So we're gonna go ahead, open up Upwork. And again, I've told it to extract the main outlines from this article. We're gonna copy that over and then I'm gonna head over to Claude. I'm gonna paste this into Claude and I'm gonna do one more um, top ranked blog post and ask it to combine all of those outlines to make one comprehensive SEO optimized outline. Okay, so we got some topics here. Let's go ahead and copy this over, head back over to Claude. Again, we're gonna paste it in here. So now we're going to tell Claude to combine the outline above with these new outlines for one comprehensive outline. So while the outline is being created, now what we wanna do is we wanna gather some target keywords and some variations of the main keyword that we wanna include within our article. This will allow us to rank for the target keyword and also for variations of that keyword um, that we're going after. So what we're going to do again, we're going to open up Harper AI on the top ranked websites. This is SEM Rush, and we're going to ask it to extract the main keywords. So I've told Harper to extract the main keywords, target keywords, LSI keywords, and variations of the target keywords from this um, article. As you can see here, we had a nice list of keywords. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy over these keywords, head back over to Claude. Our new outline has been created, and then we're going to paste this into um, Claude. And again, we're going to repeat the process for the second website, which is by Upwork. We're going to head over to Upwork. We're going to use the same prompt and we're going to gather the target keywords from this website. So once that's finished, again, go ahead and copy that over and paste it into Claude. And you can repeat this as many times as you like. It just really depends on the topic in which you're writing about. But if you're happy with the keywords in which you get back, and if you're constantly seeing the same keywords, then you can be confident that you know these are gonna be the main keywords that you need to include within your article. So once we have the keywords, now we're gonna prompt the AI to write the full article. Here's the prompt that I use. It's very simple, but effective. So I told it to generate the full in-depth comprehensive blog post, include list tables, and always write in markdown, write in a simple and easy to read tone. And I've told it to keep in mind the target keywords to include this keyword and variations of this keyword naturally throughout the article and within the H1, H2, and H3 tags. So now that we have our prompts and we have our keywords, let's go ahead and run this. And we'll take a look at the output that we get back once the full article has been completed. The full article is completed and it seems to be a little bit short for my liking. So it's less than a thousand word. So what we can do is we can tell the AI to expand this article, keeping the same format, same style of writing and so on. So I've told Claude to expand this article. So it is at least 2000 words, keep the same style and format. Also include links and tables when applicable because it really did not include any links. This is the new expanded article by Claude. And as you can see, it's much longer than the original article. This looks like it's about 2,000 words. Let's go ahead and do a quick word count. 
So it's about 2,291 words. So if you wanted to extend or expand your article, just go ahead and tell Claude to do so. And it usually does a pretty good job. So now that we have the full article, let's go ahead and convert this to Markdown and run this through Neuron Writer to see what the content score is. So this is the content editor for the keyword, how to become an SEO freelancer on Neuron Writer. And let's see what the score is. So right off the bat, we have a score of 41, which isn't too bad. Now let's go ahead and add our title and our description. By adding the title and the description, we jumped all the way up to a 62. So this is a pretty good score right off the rip because we didn't do any further optimizations. We didn't change um, any of the H1 tags. We didn't change any of the H2 tags. But right off the bat, we have a score of 62. And this is a pretty competitive keyword because you're going against Ahrefs and SEM Rush. So overall, this is a pretty good score without doing any further optimizations. If I wanted to, I could probably get a higher score by improving our H1 tag. So just by adding in a couple of these target keywords, we jumped up to 65. So again, as you can see, you can easily improve your score just by following the recommendations from New Rent Writer. So that's how you would be able to create SEO optimized content for completely free. All you need to do is use Harper AI to extract the main outline to combine that with the outlines that we get back from Claude and then do the same thing by using Harper AI to extract the main and target keywords so that Claude will include those keywords and those outlines within your content, which will naturally increase your SEO score. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.